Hey Gemini, I hope you guys are all doing really well. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-February 2022 and it's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. It is a general reading so it's not going to be everybody's situation. That's okay if you would like you can watch one of your other signs possibly even one of your person signs or you can book a personal reading with me. You can find all that information in the description box. And yeah, the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's going on for you. Second half of February. We have the Six of Swords crossed by the Ace of Swords for the main situation. Um, moving towards something more peaceful moving towards calmer waters, possibly resolving some conflict. And I feel like, you know, that is happening. You are moving in that direction, but it could be that there, it's like, it, it might feel like there's some stronger action that could be taken here in order to move things in that direction. We'll see. Um, for your energy, the lovers, the Seven of Cups, and the High Priestess. All right, so there's your element showing up here with the Lover's card. There is a very strong connection here that you have with another person, but there's something that is either confusing about this. Like, you might just be feeling confused, almost like you don't know, maybe you don't know what's true and what isn't true. What is an illusion? What isn't an illusion? Either about the other person, about the connection, or even about how you feel in terms of the situation here. And it's interesting because right after that, we do have the High Priestess, which is all about um, your intuition and having a lot of knowledge. So it's there. It's there within you. I feel like it's just that there might be a phase where you're feeling a little bit confused or just um, questioning certain things. Let's see, for them we have the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and Strength. Okay, so Leo is also showing up here. Um, yeah, a lot of love, that's for sure, all right? Definitely a very deep soul connection here with this other person and, you know, they're feeling it as well. There's something here that they're trying to manage or juggle so I don't know if it's um, another situation, which could be the case for some of you, or if it's just really trying to bring this situation into some kind of a balance. Potential outcome, we have the Page of Cups. Okay, so it could be that there's going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation here. Let's see, let's clarify. Let's see what's going on here. I'm almost even getting with this... For the other person here, um, kind of like they're trying to keep everything afloat in some way. Possibly even just trying to manage the, the feelings, the intensity of all of this. It does even feel like they're coming in um, with a lot of compassion, or at least trying, trying to have compassion, trying to understand possibly trying to understand where you're coming from with something. All right, so let's see that Six of Swords with the Ace of Swords. We have the Four of Swords, the Empress, and the King of Cups. Definitely a lot of love all over the place in this reading. Um, Okay, so there's definitely a struggle here to heal. The healing is happening. But I'm almost wondering if, if either you or them, or maybe even the both of you, are trying to heal by actually even um, moving away from each other. And possibly one person feeling like, yeah, you know, that's probably the best thing to do. And then the other person feeling like, okay, well, then I, that gives me no choice. I kind of have to follow that. But it, 
it feels like there's that that's that the, you both know that that's not really going to work. Moving away from each other is not, it's not the solution here. Because you will still feel this love. You will still feel the desire for this connection. Um, it's interesting though because I still feel like there is healing that is happening though through this. So even though moving like away from each other or away from the connection, that's not the resolution. That's not like the end result here or, you know, the end solution of it all. There's still healing happening through that process. All right, let's see the lovers in your energy. The two of swords. Which to me in this particular deck, it's similar to the two of pentacles, like really trying to find your balance. So it's like, yeah, you know, um, you're feeling the, the strength of this connection, but it's like you're trying to find that balance within your own self in order to manage the emotions. Because now it's like you're not really agreeing on what the solution is or how to go about it. So I hope that made sense. <laughs> it made sense in my mind. I don't know how I verbalized it. Um, so I'm sorry if that sounded confusing, but it's like... Almost like you're... There's this sense of, you know what, I just... I don't see another solution, and so... Feeling like there's no other choice but to move in a certain direction, even though you feel like that's not the right direction either. See the seven of cups. Okay, so now I can see why things would be confusing. Ooh, okay, so clarifying the seven of cups, we have the devil and the five of swords. Oh. Yeah, there's definitely something here that either you're not seeing clearly or you are seeing it clearly, but you're still moving in the other direction. Um, again, because it might feel like you don't have another choice, but it's interesting because I feel like you do. But if the other person, though, wants to move in this direction, well, you know, you you can't force something, right, from someone else's end, but you can control what you do in terms of your own self. And it, I don't know if you're trying to convince yourself that, that yeah, maybe this is the right thing. That's, that's what I'm getting here. You, you know deep down. You know deep down what you feel. You know deep down what is right for you. You know deep down. You know something about this. You know what your intuition is telling you. But it feels like you're almost cornered in a way. And for some of you, it could be that you've cornered your own self. For others of you, it could just be by the situation or, or you know, in terms of the other person. Um, so it feels like you might be trying to adopt an illusion to help you through this. It's, it's kind of similar to Capricorn. Um, oh, and we do have Capricorn showing up here with the devil. And it is a, this energy is a little similar, not, not exactly the same. It's actually quite different, but there are similar elements to Capricorn. So maybe some of you also have Capricorn in your, in your charts. Um, yeah. That's all I'm going to say about that. Let me see the High Priestess. Just one card for the High Priestess, please. The Fool. Okay, so the message here is to trust your intuition on this. Trust your intuition. You don't need to adopt something that doesn't resonate with you or an idea that doesn't resonate with you, whether you have imposed this on yourself or whether it's been imposed on you by someone else. It's like, you know, this leap of faith, it's like trusting. Trusting in your own intuition and where it's guiding you, even if it feels foreign or if it feels, um, I don't know how it could feel, but it, with the fool, it's like it feels maybe risky even. Let's see what's going on with them. So two 
Two of Pentacles. The Three of Cups. The World. And the Ten of Cups. What is going on here, Gemini? Because it almost feels like, you know, there's this, it's like there's this potential or this um, essence of a reconciliation of this perfect love, of this connection. And then it's like, no, you know, um, almost like closing the door to that. And then this person, it's like they're trying to deal with that. And it, they're not having a good time. They're not having an easy time dealing with closing that door or ending this cycle. And it, it just feels like they're trying to cope with an ending. I don't know who initiated this ending or why, but they're, it's like they're trying to cope with it even though that's not what they really want. See the Ace of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Cups again. Wow. <laughs> I mean, the love is undeniable that this person has for you. I don't know why they're... I, I haven't figured it out why they're doing this. Um, it feels forced. It, it feels like, yeah, okay, we're going to try this. We're going to try being apart and see if that works. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't work. This person feels like, you know, they belong with you. Um, I don't know why they're trying to I mean, it could be that you initiated this, right? I mean, and they're, they're the ones just having to deal with it. It could be that they're the ones who are cornered by you and maybe you cornered yourself. It's not really clear. It could go either way. So that's up for you to, to decide. And again, some people cross watch. Some people are watching for themselves. So really, it could go either way. Um, but it definitely feels like, you know, for the both of you, it feels like, well... This isn't what we want, but feeling like, well, we don't have a choice almost. And, well, that's just not true. All right, let's see strength. The Page of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles again. This person is, it, yeah, all right. So they do feel compassion. It's like there is this trying to approach this from a compassionate standpoint. But it's taking a lot of strength for them to deal with, with this pain. There's like a loss here that they're feeling. It's like they're grieving and, and they're not able to handle it very well. I do feel like they would want to communicate about this, possibly. Um, it's almost like this person is thinking about this a lot. Thinking, you know, is this really what we want? Because, I mean, like I said, this love, it's, it's there. It's 100% there. So I don't know what's going on. All well, right, Gemini, you're reading. <laughs> Seriously, what the hell? <laughs> um... It's going to be different for each of you. All right, let's see. Let's see the page of cups for the potential outcome because that does look more promising. All right, king of swords, ace of swords, and the hermit. Okay, so Virgo also showing up here. This does feel like there is some kind of communication here. 
um, taking place between the two of you. I feel like it's coming more from, again, just more from like trying to think rationally rather than allowing the feelings to also have a say in this. The feelings are there. I feel like they will come through. But I feel like there's still, you know, it's it's like that's the guidance here, you know, like if you do end up having this conversation, don't be afraid to talk about how you feel, how you truly feel, how you honestly feel, even if it doesn't make sense. Because otherwise I feel like even at the end of that conversation, you might still be feeling, you know, that distance and like things were not, not everything was said that you would have wanted. Like something's going to feel like it's um, missing, like not everything was shared. And I feel like really that's um, not something that's set in stone. That's something that is up to you and the other person, of course, but you can control your side of things. All right, Gemini, let's see. If this resonated, the final message for you is traveling lightly. Simplify your life. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, when we allow fears and too much thinking, that's when things get heavy and complicated. So simplify your life. I mean, that could even, be, you know, it could be about the other person. Take it as it resonates. I'm seeing this as, you know, just simplify your life. No need to overanalyze things or to, you know, hold on to any illusions about something, thinking that that might help. No, no, no. You know, the truth is usually pretty simple. Um, so, yeah, that is it. Um, those are your messages, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.